Okay, we're going to go ahead and pursue our interest in bakery cafes, uh, bakery delis, and we're going to find out there's a lot of ambiguity with the NAICS codes that we saw. And um, in Reference USA, you can do a keyword search in NAICS or SIC. And you remember that NAICS is the new industrial code and SIC is the old industrial code. You do have to search them separately. So let's start with SIC since that's what's in front of us. And let's ask about bakery, deli, and search. Now, there are a few SICs. Deli bakery is possibly what we want, and also baker's retail. OK, and you can see that those have been selected. OK, so let's go with the deli bakery and the baker's retail for the SIC codes. And now we're going to combine them with a geographic area. So city and state, move down the page, and just put in Newark. And as we know, there are Newarks and Newarks all over the United States. Say go. And the one we're interested in is Newark, New Jersey. So that's in our selection space. So let's review what we've done. We've selected Deli Bakery. We've selected Baker's Retail and we've selected Newark, New Jersey. So the first thing we want to do is go from our record count, which is well over 15 million. We're going to update the count of 34, and now we're going to view the results. OK, so what do we have here? We have all these bakeries located in Newark, New Jersey. And you can see some of them are freestanding bakeries. And some of them are parts of large chains, for example, Blimpy. And you will recall from the quick search that you can go up a corporate tree and get to the headquarters and go to those. Now, let's suppose you want to know where your competition is located. Well, you can sort by street address. And you do that just by clicking on street address. Now you have the items near Bergen Street. You have the items on Broad Street. Whole Foods Market is included here, by the way. Um, what's on Halsey Street near the campus? And so forth. So there are two pages. And the way that you're going to get all this information to download is to select. OK, now we have selected 25 records. We're now going to go to our second. And we're going to select. We have now selected all 34 results. How do you get output from these results? Well, you can do it in a number of ways. Okay. Now we're going to download. Let's take this down as Excel. And just for demonstration purposes, let's take the summary data for the 34 records. Now notice you can download them. You can also email them to yourself. But we're going to download. Open it up with Microsoft Excel. Just tell them, yes, you trust the source and open it anyway. And here you are. Let's enable editing so we can do things with it. OK, here we are. Notice all the data you've got from your 34 items. Um, you've got an address. You've got credit scores. You have how many employees they have. Look at the SIC description. These are all your retail bakers. There's a donut shop that could impinge, depending on what you're, what you're selling in your bakery deli. 
And then some of these are restaurants. So you get all that information in one fell swoop by doing your search on SIC here in Reference USA. Okay, let's close this down now. You, of course, would want to save that information. Let's go back to a new search. This time through, let's change our keyword NAICS access and search NAICS instead. And this time through, let's go with our 722513, which is limited service restaurants. And then we want to add the bakeries to this. Oh, I saw it. Let's add our retail bakeries because we're not in competition with commercial bakeries. And go back with our city search. And again, all the Newarks in the United States. And we want the one in New Jersey. Okay, let's update our count. This time we have 161. So notice, depending on which industrial code you use, you will get different results. Also, there are probably profound overlaps between the NAICS code search and the SIC code search. Let's view our 161 results. And again, we have to contend with people and their bots. OK. We have 161. Let's uh, sort by street address again. And this time we have seven pages. We're just going to take the first page as an example. And let's take it as Excel, use the summary data, and download the records. Yes, we trust the source. Yes, we want to enable editing. I think it's worth doing both the SIC and the NAICS, although you might find the NAICS includes all your SIC, or you might find that your NAICS does not include all your SIC. Also, with the NAICS codes, you get a different selection of restaurants. So you have to evaluate, is McDonald's going to take business away from me? Now we're going to close that down and go back. We want to go back to the same search that we have and other things that you can get. For example, you can get a heat map of your competition. So let's take a look at the heat map two pieces to the heat map. One of them is the map itself, shows you exactly where they're located. And over here, we have information about the company.